welcome to the vlog. Hello, I hope you're having a wonderful start to your day if you're watching this in the morning and if you're watching this at night, I hope you had a wonderful day. Hello, so if you guys missed the past couple vlogs, Cal and I went to Alabama and Atlanta, celebrated a wedding, saw Steph, it was so much fun. If you guys missed those vlogs, go check them out because we did a lot of fun stuff. And now I've been back home this whole week. I've just been getting my life back together, getting back in the groove of things, cooking at home, working, doing all the normal things. And yes, it is now Thursday and I decided to vlog today because it's gonna be a fun day. Today, I'm gonna go see Holden, which I haven't seen Holden in so long. We've just been really busy and Shane and Lily have been super busy. I think the last time I saw him was our little like engagement party situation we did at the house, which was in September. So it's been like a month and a half or so and he's getting so much bigger and I can't wait to see him. I'm seeing him twice this week, so I'm super excited about that. So we'll go see Holden and then also we're gonna go celebrate Kim Tai's birthday. If you guys don't know who Kim Tai is, she is actually my favorite vlogger. I'll link her down below, but then also she is, I was thinking about it. I think she's my oldest and longest YouTube friend. I'm pretty sure we met in like 2016 or so maybe, but we've been friends for so long. She's such an amazing friend to me and she celebrated her 30th birthday a couple weeks ago. She and my brother actually have the exact same birthday and she was busy during her actual birth week. So today we're celebrating. I'm taking her to dinner and then I got her some gifts and I'm, I'm just excited to see her and catch up because I haven't seen her in a little while. So yes, before then though, I need to get some food in my stomach. I woke up this morning, got my workout in, I washed my hair and I kid you not, you guys, those microfiber towels that I keep telling you about are amazing. I put my hair up, which again, I have so many extensions in my hair, you guys. Like this is so much hair. Put my hair up in the towel while I did my makeup for like 15 minutes and my hair is like so close to being dry. It's crazy. I'll link those down below if you guys want them truly. If you hate wet hair like me, it's a game changer. But yes, I'm just gonna let my hair air dry all the way and then I'm gonna bring my curling iron to Shane's house and just do that later because I don't feel like blow drying my hair. But yes, I wanted to share with you guys my current favorite breakfast that I've been having. Truly, this is a combination of foods that I go back to so frequently. And every time I go back to it, I'm like, how did I forget how good this is? So let me get all the stuff. Hold on, wrong way, in the fridge. Okay, I got the things. So what you need for this, it's very, very, very simple. And I know it doesn't sound that exciting, but I promise if you try it, it's so good. All you need is a slice of bread. I'm using, I've been really liking this brand, the Rudy's Rocky Mountain Sourdough Bread lately. These are the, they have the thin sliced ones or just like the regular slice. I'm doing a regular slice today. You need some cream cheese of your choice. Sometimes I use dairy free. Today I'm gonna use this Nancy's probiotic cream cheese. There is no better flavor than a regular cream cheese. I've been really trying to find a good dairy free alternative and I just can't find one that is as good as normal cream cheese, but sometimes I'll use that. Sometimes I'll use regular. And then an heirloom tomato. I have this much left of mine. I'm gonna use the rest of this up, but it is the last, we're on the tail end of heirloom tomato season. So I am eating them up while I can because they are so good. If you've never tried an heirloom tomato, it's like a way less acidic, almost like a little bit more sweet, mellow flavored tomato. They're so delicious. Let's just pop this out. We're gonna pop this guy in the toaster. I'm using my little Japanese sauna toaster, but truly any toaster works. Also, I don't know if you can see, but I have all the Halloween lights on in the house and it's amazing. Teacup for a mouse. Throw that in there. Okay, while that toasted up, I cracked into two of my medium boiled eggs that I made yesterday. They look so good. Look at those orangey yolks. <gasps> and then I'm gonna put a little salt on top of those. Beautiful. Our perfect piece of toast. And now we're gonna put our cream cheese on there. And just, I mean, we all know how to do this. A nice layer of cream cheese on there. I like an actually very thin layer. I just want like the littlest bit of that tangy goodness. But if you like a lot of cream cheese, feel free to put a lot on, obviously. And then we're gonna take our tomato. Let me slice this in half. Truly, I can eat like the thickest slice of this with no issue. For a little uh, healthy fats, we're gonna do a drizzle of olive oil on top, as well as some flaky salt. Cal was begging to make me breakfast this morning. It was really sweet. He wanted to like cook me a whole thing. And I was like, I appreciate it. But honestly, I just want my tomato toast. I hope that's okay. And then some pepper right on top of that. And there we have my current favorite breakfast. The thing that gets me up in the morning that I get excited to eat. Oh, please try this and let me know if you guys like it. The flavors are incredible. So good, I can't stop eating it. I want it for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. On that note, I'm gonna enjoy my breakfast 
and I'll see you guys very soon. Okay guys, so I got Kim a couple gifts for her birthday. A few years ago, I got her a perfume. I got her flower bomb and she still has it to this day and she always talks about it whenever she's showing all her perfume collections and things and I just thought it was so sweet. So I wanted to get her a new perfume for her birthday this year. This is Delina. If you guys have never smelled Delina, it is like truly one of the most delicious smelling scents I've ever smelled in my life. How I found out about this is I went and sat next to Amanda Diaz on a brand trip with Benefit like years ago and I sat down and immediately I got a whiff of her and I was like, what are you wearing right now? And she was like, oh, it's Delina. And it's like this really pretty pink bottle. I actually don't know the name of the company that makes it, but it's like a pink curvy bottle. And I came home and immediately bought it and I wanted to get it for Kim. So I got her this. If she doesn't like it, she can obviously exchange it, but I think she's gonna love it. It's very like similar to Flower Bomb, but just like, boom, a lot more strong. And then I wanted to get her something else because she is just like the most generous person in the world. She is always sending me like random gifts all the time and sending me flowers all the time. She sent us like an amazing engagement gift. When Lila passed away, she sent not only me, but also my mom flowers. And she's just like, she's so thoughtful and sweet. So I just wanted to get her another thing to say thank you for just how amazing she is and happy birthday. So I got her this purse. Okay, it looks white on camera and I wanted to get her a white purse because I was watching her vlog and she was saying how she doesn't have a white purse. So in real life, it looks a little bit more nude, but on camera, it looks white. So I will give her the gift receipt and she can exchange it if she doesn't like it. But this is the Coach Tabby purse. If you guys have not seen, it's so cute. You can wear it like a bunch of different ways. There's like a short handle. There's a long handle. You can get like a gold handle. So there's lots of options. So I got her this as well as the perfume. And I just need to go buy a little gift bag and a card when I go out to go see Shane. But yes, Kim, I love you so much. I can't wait to celebrate you tonight. And I'm just gonna pack up the car. My mom and dad also asked me to get them some of their favorite pizzas here in LA. So I gotta pick up those, bring them back home. And then I'm gonna pack up the car and we will go. Hi. Hey. <laughs> Can you give the vlog a smile? You okay. love your daddy? I like you love your daddy? You stared right at it. What's going on? What's going on? Look at those chunky legs. <gasps> you put I'm sorry. I put him in not the best position. Are you Smiley. sitting down? Are you sitting down? Ah, smiley. What's this? What's this? What's this? Oh my gosh. What a good baby you are. Lily did such a good job decorating. It's yeah, so cute. Like, oh, Look at these bats on the wall. Freaking bats. Oh my gosh, so look at our hat, look at our hat. <laughs> He's like a real human now. I know, I'm figuring things out. Hi cutie. Oh, Huggy. in the mouth Hi, Huggy. and right in the mouth. You know Auntie loves you? Look at these cheeks. Look at those cheeks. Baby, 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 food, Oh, he's tired. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, it's he's too much. He's tired. You gonna go take a nap? Should we put him in the crib? What do we do? How do you be a parent? I'm zooming in. <laughs> this thing does not zoom in, huh? No, you gotta go like this. Oh, uh, <laughs> Hi guys, okay, it's a little bit later. Oh, there's like a card here. Let me just move this camera. There we go. It's a little bit later, we're at Target now. Sorry, someone was walking by in the aisle, so I didn't want to film them. Hello guys, okay, we're at Target now. It is a few hours later. We got to hang out with Holden and Shane for so long. It was so fun and he is so cute. Now we came to Target to get a birthday bag for her, some tissue paper, some snacks for her. I saw she said she likes Dots pretzels and I love Dots pretzels. I love the honey mustard ones, but I wanted to throw some snacks in there for her and then also just get a couple other random things we needed to get for the house, so that's what we're doing now. There's a lot of people here, so I'm trying to be quiet. Got my favorite toothpaste as well as cotton rounds and cute. Tips. And there's a screaming baby here. I can't escape them. <laughs> I'm just kidding. They're so cute. Oh my god, these cookies sound so good. Cinnamon brown butter quest protein cookie. Yum. The way I actually just gasped. It's Christmas decor time at Target. I won't be shopping for at least a few more weeks, but it's here. Yay. Look who's here. Happy birthday, my princess. Oh my god. You call me your petite princess. My petite princess. <laughs> Carlos and Michelle call me their petite princess. She's my petite princess. We've got a seafood tower here and we're just okay. we're just gabbing. We're getting to our talking and catching up. We're gonna be here for quite a few hours. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. <laughs> I'll spare you my singing. Happy birthday to you. Make a wish. <laughs> Yay! Girl, this lens is wide. <laughs> this is a movie camera. Hello. Hi guys, good morning. Hello, I 
just woke up and I immediately grabbed the camera. I wanted to say good morning, hello. Let me get my moisturizer. I need to put some moisturizer on my skin. So yes, it's been quite a few days since I last talked to you guys. Honestly, I haven't been doing anything that exciting, just working and chilling and watching TV and that's really it. I'm back because we have a very exciting day today. I am up and getting ready and this is just a Holden filled vlog. I'm going with Holden and Lily to Disneyland today. I am so excited. Lil is so sweet and wanted me to go with them. So she bought me a ticket, which is so nice of her. And we're gonna spend the day at the park. And I'm especially excited because there are so many new foods. Well, first of all, I'm especially excited to see my nephew and see him in the park. And it's just gonna be so cute. They have like a little matching outfit. I can't wait to see them. And then I'm also very excited because there's so much new food in the park that I wanna try for content. So, and myself, it's gonna be so fun. Please excuse all the dandruff in my hair currently. It's like feathers from my pillow, dandruff and dry shampoo all in one. I'm gonna blow it out soon. But of course, Disneyland means we need to put on extra sunscreen. I've been using this one from Bubble. It's a, like a tinted one. Side note, I'm making my way through these wipes, the Hello Kitty wipes that I got in Japan. I love them so much. I got them at Daiso. So they were really inexpensive and you just take off the little top part with a new pack and then I got these little like uh, opener situations and you just like press it right on to the top. So it keeps them nice and fresh. And then now I can have wipes when I'm doing my makeup or if I need to wipe my hair because I get makeup on my hair. And then I saw this life hack that Alicia talked about actually recently. Store your wipes this way so that all of the liquid goes to the top and you always get a fresh wipe and they don't get all dried out. Ooh, uh, nothing like a fresh pack. Makeup is done. Hair, I just threw up in these little piggy tails because my hair is on its last leg. I definitely need to wash it tomorrow. Dry shampooed it up, brushed out all the dandruff. I put the little bows in that I got in Tokyo. I think they're so cute, perfect for Disney. And then I'm trying to decide what to wear. I'm like so early today. I'm so proud of myself. I still have like 45 minutes before I need to leave and I've just been taking my sweet time, but I think I'm gonna wear it's like 70 degrees outside today, so it's chillier, but still kind of warm. So I'm gonna wear my parallel tank top. I think I'm just gonna wear, you know, my Eaton pants. I got some leggings. And then also, I think I'm gonna wear this Pop Flex Active sweatshirt. And then I can tie it around my waist, you know, if it gets too hot, which I'm sure it will. So that's what I think I'm gonna wear. Let me change. Change of plans. I put on the under outfit part. We got the leggings and the, the tank top. A few vlogs back, Cal and I went thrifting and I'm so sorry, I didn't include the haul on the vlog. And to this day, I'm still getting comments and DMs of people asking where the haul is. So I did film the haul. I'll put that in after this clip if you guys wanna see what we got thrifting a few weeks ago. But we sent a few of the things off to be dry clean because some had stains on them. Some had some questionable flakes, if you will. But we got them back and I'm deciding. So the Packers are playing today. Obviously I don't have time to watch the game because I'll be at Disneyland, but just in support, I'm gonna wear this and also I'll get, you know, hopefully not too sweaty in these, but I'm deciding should I wear the green one or the gray one? And I can be representing at the park. I'm kind of feeling the green one actually. Part of me kind of wants to wear Ugg boots too, but I feel like I might get a little sweaty. And then also if anybody else has the same problem. Oh, and it matches my nails, perfect. If you've got like a semi arch on your foot and you wear Uggs all day cause they're just like flat, my feet start to hurt. I can't even imagine people with like a high arch. Like how do ballerinas do it? Miss Luna Marie, she's trying to get into my suitcase. It's cute. I think that the gray one is a bigger size so it might be like a little bit more like flowy but this one's already on so let's do this one. For perfume, I'm gonna put on the Juicy Apple by Kay Alley. Perfect for that fall apple scent. I'm gonna put on some tennis shoes and let's go. I got this really cute jacket, which as we all know, I'm like a huge outerwear fan. I love jackets so much. They're like my favorite part of cold weather. I just think they're so cute. And I fell in love with this one. I think it's so adorable. So it's a Carhartt jacket. And I've always wanted a Carhartt jacket. And I love that the inside has this like green lining. I'm just like super into green. I thought it was so nice. Ah, I love it. Oh, also I did not find what I initially was looking for, which was like the Packers, like kind of race car sports jacket. But honestly, I think I like this even more. I think it kind of works too. Cause it's got like the green Packers green color, but it's like obviously not merch. So I can wear it way more frequently. I think it's so cute. I love this 
the fit. And also what's fabulous is a lot of these things like that I get, Cal can wear or Cal gets them and I can wear so we can share jackets because I like mine to be a little bit more oversized and they fit him. So here is what I got. I got this for myself and I'll share with Cal if he wants to, but I just think it's so cute and very much like the look that I'm going for for certain things. Like I would love to make this like a little bit more feminine and wear like a skirt with boots or I can wear it with like, you know, what I'm wearing right now, whatever works. I just think it's really nice and very well made. So here's my first jacket. And then Cal got this jacket. You guys saw him try this on. This was like such an interesting find. I was telling him for Christmas, we should go. They had so much Packers stuff or just like in general, like so many NFL teams. And if you guys didn't know, Cal's a big Packers fan, but he got it from his parents. Like his dad is like the biggest Packers fan. I saw so many pieces there that I just like haven't seen online or like at Lambeau Field when we went, like just different things. So I thought it'd be cool to go find maybe some like specialty pieces for them for Christmas this year. So we thought it was cool that it's like yellow stitched in. Someone's calling me. So he got this for himself, but I told him like, I'm gonna steal it. I also said we could like make a little section in his closet of all the Packers stuff and then we can share them. And then when I want something, I'll just go take it out of there because he'll wear it a lot more frequently than I will. But this is really cool. It's really, really well made, really high quality, really nice and thick. I like this a lot. Hi, Momers. Do you see her over there? She's so cute. All of them are sniffing all the stuff. Okay, next up, I got the black leather jacket that you guys saw I tried on. I think this is so nice nice. So I have a leather jacket that I wore all last year that I got from House of CB that I really liked. It was like a longer jacket, similar to this, but it was a little bit thin, like super thin actually. And it was a little bit like bigger and more oversized. And I just thought this was such a perfect fit for me. I like where it cuts. It's a little bit shorter than the other one. And it's also way thicker. Like this is double lined. It's got like leather on the front, leather on the back. I did Google the brand when I was there to see if I was going to get ripped off. Cause sometimes the stuff there can be pretty pricey, but they gave me a fabulous deal on it. It was like, 75% off what I had seen online. So I got a good deal. I think it's cute. Hello, I'm trying to film this and they're playing right under my legs right now. Next up, you guys saw, I found this earlier. I love this. This is actually like one of the pieces that I'm most excited about. I just love a big oversized sweatshirt. I like that the front has like a little fold in the neckline, if you can see, like it's a little bit different. I love the logo, perfect to wear with boots and leggings or something cash. <laughs> Woo, we're excited. Okay, what else did we get? Oh, <laughs> Cal got his CD-ROM that he's really stoked about. Or not CD, I keep calling it a CD-ROM. It's a, it's a Harry Potter game that he played growing up. Cal bought this shirt. He's gonna wear it every day or like on a normal basis. And I'm gonna wear it tonight as a pajama shirt. It's a Rascal Flats tour shirt from 2008. In case you didn't know, Cal and I love the Rascal Flats. I think they're fantastic. God bless the broken road that led me astray to my wish for you. <laughs> uh, I heard you saying. I was like, she's gotta be doing some of that shirt. I was, I was waiting for you to come see. <laughs> come to your haul of your pieces that you got. Okay. I showed them the Rascal Flats. I did show them this jacket already. Jacket. It's got a nice little yellow liner. Uh, beautiful logo, front and back. Yes. This looks very nice, kind of like a, I don't know what you would call this. Oh my what god! Kind of, what kind of you coat? You can zip off the hood, Cal! There's no hood though. Wait, Where's there's the a hood? hood in there, Cal! Wait, what? <gasps> oh my god, there there's is. There's a built-in hood! Look Wait, that's sick! That. I'm saying, like, these pieces are so cool. <laughs> I love it. Okay, you got that oh, yeah. jacket. Do you want to show them your really exciting vinyl? Oh, sorry, Momo. Momo. Every long lost street. We found Let a 1997 are. printed Star Wars soundtrack. It's in really good condition. He played it for me, as you can see from the videos. But it's got that nice little... From the videos. Yeah. That is sick. It even comes with the... It doesn't come with that poster, because I saw the poster that it comes with, but it comes with like, you know, all the information and stuff in it too. Very cool. Yeah. That's an awesome find. So Cal was telling me they printed that, like they pressed it the year that Star Wars, the original Star Wars came out. So that's yeah. really cool. And it so, sounded great. Oh, yeah. oh my gosh. Shit. Oh my God, my God, my God. I got it. I was just trying to put it back in. Luna wants to eat it. She just said, oh my God, I didn't even tell you. I was watching an old vlog this morning and I didn't even notice that Luna was sitting on the kitchen table chair the whole time. Wait, what? Like I was talking at the island and Luna was stand like she got on the chair behind me. Oh my and god. And she was just on the chair. Do you have anything to say for yourself? And I'd do it again. Yeah, I thought the, the back of the vinyl looked cool. 
It's the big Darth Vader helmet. Gorgeous, babe. That's such a cool find. Okay, next up. We got a lot of Packers stuff today. Yeah. <laughs> we got a lot. Well, I mean, went in with a goal and she followed through with it. We found a lot and also uh, we're good for like the season now. We found this sweatshirt. Cal actually found this and we thought it was cute because it actually has our birth years on it. So it says the pack is back to back and it says 1995, 1996. I was born in 95, Cal was born in 96. Yes, he's younger than me. I don't want to talk about it, but we thought that was really cute. Again, this is just like our communal wardrobe now. <laughs> Last but not least, I got this shirt and it says emotionally exhausted with a Care Bear and I loved it. It's very see-through, so I'm definitely gonna have to wear a bra with this, but I mean, this is gonna be another sleep shirt for me. We got so much stuff today. I've never had this much stuff at the Trading Post and I'm super excited about it all. But all Green Bay Packers. <laughs> all Green Bay Packers. And now we're gonna watch Taylor Swift at the Chiefs game. Let's go. <laughs> We have arrived at the park. Also, I met some subscribers in line for the parking structure. Like they were next to me. They were so sweet. I'm waiting for Holden and Lily and I'm here a little bit early. So I'm gonna do some light stretching because now that I'm old, I don't know if I can walk around all day. I gotta do some stretching. Ugh. Gotta warm up the legs, you know? Like I'm partially kidding, but I'm also being kind of serious. Like I, my body's getting old now. Look who's here. Oh my goodness. Yay. Hi. Are we at Disney? Are you gonna be a Disney baby? Yes! <laughs> Hi Lil! Hi! We're so excited. We're so excited to eat today and experience the Little Mermaid with Holden. Hi Happy! Hi Happy Baby! I am in charge of the stroller. We all know how much I love pushing a stroller. We are at the, I don't know what this is called, hand dipped station and Lil and I have been talking about trying this giant jalapeno popper for so long. It's a poblano pepper filled with bacon cheddar cream cheese fried in cornmeal rolled in panko breadcrumbs. <laughs> it's so crazy. And then they also have like regular corn dogs and they've got a pickle dog too where they put inside of a pickle. I'd be open to trying but I really want to try this one and it's a limited time so we're getting this one and then Lil wants a regular one too. Are these real? They look real. We've eaten. Now we're happy. Now we're happy. We got our toy. I don't know if you guys can see but they are oh Oh, there's the jalapeno popper. <gasps> it's being dipped. It's got two sticks because it's so heavy. That's us. That's me. You can't even see how big this is. It's the size of our head. Also, if you're looking for the place, it's across from the Lego store. We had to ask the pretzel guy, where do we find this? And he knew immediately. Here we go. I just realized, I don't think I even vlogged me eating the little jalapeno popper. What'd you say? Oh my God. She has, he has sunglasses. She has sunglasses for him. Who has sunglasses? It's the little Big, but he's so cute. Who has sunnies? Oh my goodness, who's a cool boy? <laughs> Too cool for school, huh, Holden? Oh my god. <laughs> we are now going over to California Adventure, first park of the day. Hey, girl. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, Lil and I are super excited. On our food tour of today, we also realized that San Francisco is officially open here now, which is the Big Hero 6. <gasps> oh my god, we're so excited. It looks so good. We're here to eat and eat only, and they've got the Golden Gate looking bridge, San Francisco. Oh my god, it looks so cute. We're Disney adults. We, I, I, I've already admitted. I'm like, I'm, I'm low key a Disney adult, <laughs> loud and proud. I don't know about loud and proud. <laughs> San Francisco Square. This feels so much like Tokyo Disney, and this merch store looks like where. Oh, <gasps> we. This is so cute, Holden. Holden, this is Baymax. You look like Baymax with those cheeks. Yes. This looks like the store in Tokyo. Look at the, the Baymax. Is it ketchup? Tomato hat? That is adorable. I love them all. Guys, please look at this Baymax bread. It's so cute. Thank you so much. We got a regular churro and an oogie boogie, which is a chocolate cookie covered churro with green icing, gummy worms, and candies. Oh, we're intrigued. You can smell. Oh. Oh. I have wipes because it's okay. Sniff. Oh, look at he licks his he lips. Licks. Oh, you're gonna love it one day, I promise. It's amazing. Jury's out. We like the Oreo one better than the original somehow. Somehow something beat the original. I got a Baymax bread for Cal, and then I wanted to get one for us, and the lady, because Holden was so cute, gave us one for free. <laughs> we got two for the price of one. Thank you to the sweet lady for recognizing Holden's cuteness. <laughs> he wants the bread. He wants it all. Oh, they have the munchlings here. Oh my god, there's a box $150 for a Munchling advent calendar. Okay, we've got the dynamic duos. That's cute. Or these are the, the new festive 
fair, I think. That's so cute. I'm gonna get I'm gonna get one. I have to try. Change of plans. You can only get him in the advent calendar. So I looked at the boxes and didn't like any of them. So never mind, but he's so cute. Are any of Look these how these cute these are. Vanilla oh or they my god. god. Ooh. I'll take the vanilla one. I'm getting a vanilla. No, I hate candy corn, really? but that looks good. Um, that, and then I'll do the black uh, caramel apple, please. Isn't this Ollie in an apple? And then I'll do a regular caramel apple as well, please. We've got little Tigger tails. Everything looks so good. Look at these little pumpkins. I cannot get over apple pie apple. Ooh, I want more. Cinnamon candy apple, those are so pretty. <gasps> the little chocolate Mickeys on the s'more. Oh my God, wait. It's a Rice Krispie with chocolate, graham cracker, marshmallow, and chocolate. <gasps> Churro toffee square. Wait, Lil, I want everything. <laughs> it looks so good. Who's a happy baby in a candy store? Who's a happy baby in a candy store? Yes. <laughs> How cute is he in his little set? It's now like 4.30 p.m. or so. We're calling it a day. Someone's tired and needs a nap. Hello guys, that was so much fun. Holden and Lily were so cute. As I told you guys earlier, we left the park pretty early. It's only five o'clock right now. We were only there for like five hours, but obviously that was a long time for Holden. He needed a nap. He did so well. And now I am hungry. We ate some like little snackies here and there at the park, but I definitely didn't have like a full meal meal. And since it's still early, I decided to come out and get spring rolls that I have been wanting for so long. If you guys know Orange County, then you know, hold on, I'm driving, I'll tell you in a second. I'm back. As I was saying, if you know Asian food in Orange County, or if you know Orange County in general, then you know the restaurant called Brodard, which is in Fountain Valley. My family's been going there since I was a kid. It was always brought to all of our like family parties and things. It's an amazing Vietnamese restaurant and they are known for their spring rolls. I've been craving them for years, but I just never come to this area. But since I was in Anaheim, I figured, you know what? I'll do like the 20 minute drive because I need them. So I'm picking them up right now. I'm so excited. I'm going to eat them in the car. Hello guys. Okay, I went into Brodard. I got my order. I order a ton of extra so that I could eat them throughout the rest of the week for like lunch and snack and things. Make sure the doors are locked. Okay. <gasps> yes! I truly have not had these in so long. Oh my God, I'm so excited. My mouth is salivating. So what's so special about these is not only are they just like delicious, they also put, and this is what inspired my ones that I make at home when I take the time to do it. The sauce is absolutely amazing. I got the pork like the OG pork. Oh my God. Okay, there's like lettuce. There is pickled veggies in here. There's the pork and then green onion also. And then a fried egg roll wrapper, which is so genius. Mmm. I will say, I think they're cilantro. I don't even care though. They're that good. A large truck just parked next to me and blocked the sun. Mmm. Vietnamese food is fire. I'm gonna eat this and then I'm gonna go somewhere very special after. Okay guys, while in Fountain Valley slash Garden Grove area, I also wanted to stop by this store called Skylark Nail Supply, which if you guys watched my vlogs, like when I first started this channel in high school, then you would remember, I would come here with my friends all the time. Boiling Crab opened up right behind me. I don't even know, you could maybe see it back there. When I was in high school, probably like 2011, 2012, and the wait at Boiling Crab would always be like one to two hours or so in the beginning. So we would always come to this nail supply store, which is the same place that actually Perla comes for her nail stuff. Keely and I went through big nail polish phases in high school. So we'd come here and we'd buy so many fun colors and things. And I haven't been back here since probably like around that time. But while here, I wanted to stop in and see if they have any colors. I've been buying all of my own gel nail polish colors since Perla comes to my house and does the nails. So I have a bunch of colors in my collection now and I wanted to get some fun fall colors. So let's go in and see. Basically, it's just a store where they have like tons of nail supplies, so many colors of polishes and things at a really good price. So I truly have not been in over a decade below. Let's see if it's still the same. Here we go, Skylark. This is just one of the aisles. Oh my God. They have these sets with the regular polish and the gel version. I mean, this is just one of the aisles. Oh, look how crazy this is. All the way through, all around. It's amazing. They have all these cute little gems and things too. So many options. Okay, back in the car. It was so quiet in there. You could hear a pin drop, so I couldn't vlog too much. But I went in and went out in like five minutes. I found a few colors for fall though, which I'm really excited about. And they were way less expensive than if I bought them online. And then also I got to obviously see them in real life, which is great. So I picked out four colors, all of which are perfect for like fall into winter. We have all the OPI. These are all OPI gel ones. This color is called Susie, the first lady of nails. And it's like a really pretty olive green. I feel like it's not picking up great on camera, but it's a really pretty olive green. 
2019. I got this really pretty dark, like black purple color. I wanted Linkin Park After Dark or Linkin Park After Midnight, which if you have watched YouTube since the early days like myself, then you know what I'm talking about. But they didn't have the gel version of that. So I got this one, which is called Susie and the Arctic Fox. Very similar. Also, they always look different in the bottle, obviously, than on the color outside. But I didn't want to open them unless I bought it. So I guess I'll... Oh yeah, really pretty. It's like a dark graphite gray with like a little tinge of purple, but more like of a dark, really milky graphite. Then we have Yes My Condor Can Do, which they all kind of look similar, but this one's like a dark maroon. <gasps> really pretty maroony, like a true maroon. And then last but not least, this one I think is my favorite. This is CIA Color is Awesome, and it's like a dark, dark green. If I can get it open. Really pretty. It's like a, a dark teal, actually, like a blue green. And then this one's like more of a true dark green, if you can see the two side by side. They look similar on camera, but I promise in real life they look very different. But yes, okay, I can't wait to rock these colors. I'm definitely going to wear these next time I get my nails done or one of these. And now let's head on home. Hello, all. It's dark outside. Got home from Disneyland, and then Cal and I realized there's a carnival in the area. So we're going to a carnival now. Hello, Sir Cal. Hello. Hello. Just a day of games and a day of fun. A night, actually. A night. A night. A night of fun. There is a real ass carnival, like a huge carnival in the middle of suburban LA. <laughs> this is so random, but I love it. Hi, Cal. Hi. This is so cute. Oh my God. Wow. These. The one over there. I don't know if you can see that one through there. My worst nightmares all at once. And this reminds me of Greece. Yeah. This one, the zipper. You couldn't pay me to get on that.